Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. I'm Emmy Eaton. Today I'm at the Idaho National Laboratory chatting with U.S. Department of Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm. Secretary, thanks so much for visiting with me today. Oh my gosh, well thank you so much for m making the time to be able to chat with me. Should we get started with the questions? Let's do it. Okay, question number one. What do you do as Secretary of Energy? Hmm, great question. So the Secretary of Energy um, is one of the cabinet members of the President's administration and is responsible for making sure that we have energy systems in this, in this country that work. So for example, what is energy? Maybe energy would be when you flip on the light switch, obviously the lights come on. That's one form of energy. Like the fans. Like the, or the fans. Or maybe when you turn your heater on at home, you get warm. Or maybe when you put, get, get in a car and you have to fuel it up, you want to make sure you have fuel. We're moving toward like electric vehicles, so you want to make sure that you can charge your electric vehicle. Uh, so all forms of energy is, uh, is what the Department of Energy covers. And the Department of Energy covers also making sure that we are safe, that we have the ability as a nation to be able to defend ourselves uh, if we need to through our nuclear stockpile. But mostly it's on energy. What is it like working with the president? Um, let me say that I just really adore this president because he's such a good human being, that he really cares very deeply about people. And um, if you met him, you would know this. He would look you right in the eye. He would ask you about you. He cares deeply about individuals, and he cares deeply about how they're impacted right now, for example, with prices going up. He, he's really concerned about that. He's very honest and very ethical, and so I really am honored to work with him. I heard you're teaming up with Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man. Can you tell me about that? Yes, it's so fun. I mean, so, so of course, Robert Downey Jr. in the character in Iron Man, Tony Stark, you've seen it, right? Yeah, so he's super smart, right? He's like he's always thinking way ahead. So Robert Downey Jr. is also super smart. And he wants to help uh, agencies that are involved in technology. So the Department of Energy, in addition to making sure we have ample energy in the country, making sure that we are developing technology that gets us to the next generation of en energy, making sure, for example, that we have solar power, that we have wind power, or geothermal power, which is the power beneath your heat, or nuclear power. And so Robert Downey Jr. is super interested in that technology. So he asked, how can I help? And so one of the things we're doing is that we are hiring a clean energy core, meaning a lot of people that we want to bring in to help us get those technologies and put those technologies to work across the country. And he has helped to be a recruiting arm, meaning that he helped to develop, I don't know if you saw the video that he did, he did a little video with me, and we'll have to show it to you, where we are recruiting people to come and apply and work for the Department of Energy. That's cool. It's very cool. Yeah, I'll show you it later. Um, have you ever been to Idaho before, beside of, besides right now, and tried to film this potatoes? And what do you think of the Idaho National Laboratory? Okay, number one, yes, I have been to Idaho. Such a phenomenally beautiful state you have. Not in the winter, it's cold there. I, well, I know. <clears throat> I'm from Michigan, though, so it's cold in the winter there, too. But So I like traveling to places in the summertime yeah. <laughs> and it is it's such a beautiful state and yes I have tried Idaho potatoes and in fact cook with them all the time and the Idaho National Lab is an amazing place it is really um, the, f the first place we think about when we think about developing, for example, nuclear energy. It has a huge expertise in that. It is, uh, an it is by f 890 square miles, so it's huge footprint in Idaho, but it's also doing amazing work in renewable energy and in clean energy. Uh, and additionally, addition to nuclear, because nuclear is also clean energy. So it's so exciting to be here. Now, Idaho National Lab is one of, we have at the Department of Energy, 17 national laboratories, like Idaho National Lab, but all over the country. And each one of them has a sort of specialty. And Idaho National Lab has a specialty in nuclear. It's, well, we should come and, we should go together and get potatoes after the interview. Oh. 
French fries. The French fries. Wedge French fries, can we? All right, love all it. All potatoes are good. All potatoes are good in all farms, but I happen to particularly have a fondness for wedge French fries. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do more girls become interested in science and energy careers? Yeah, this is a great question because I really want to have a lot of women involved in science, technology, engineering, and math, and so that they can help us to build this next generation of energy system, right? Historically, um, girls and women hadn't gone into science, technology, engineering, and math. They had didn't, historically, like in my generation, a lot of times we didn't take those classes or we weren't encouraged to. But now, women are just doing amazing work in, I mean, I met, there was so many, there are women leaders here at Idaho National Lab. There are women leaders in the Department of Energy. Most of the, the top management positions are held by women uh, in addition to me. But it's, so it's really exciting to see women uh, do this, but I really want to encourage girls and women because solving the biggest problems known to humankind is a huge reward and we want to encourage girls and women to think about doing that as career choices. We don't want boys doing it all. We don't want them to having all the fun. No, yeah. we got to have girls in there for sure. <laughs> I'll be I'll be a reporter when I grow up. But if that doesn't work out, you know where I'm coming. All right, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm glad you're going to be a reporter because you are obviously stellar at it. Thank you. <laughs> all right. You're good at your job too. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> what is the coolest part of your job? Well, in addition to interviewing with you, yeah. um, I would say, you know, the, co the coolest part of the job is learning about the technologies that are being cooked up in the laboratories here that um, everyday people are going to see in a few years as they come out and we deploy them. So I love learning. And, um, you know, if you love learning, this is a great job because I'm learning all the time. And I'm also feeling really great about the ability of our department to deploy those clean energy technologies. So, you know, of course, you know about climate change and the technologies that can reduce and mitigate and, you know, slow climate change are all happening at places like the Idaho National Lab. And I'm, that's why it's super exciting to be in this position right now. Question number seven. What is clean energy and what's something we can all do to use it? Oh, what a great question. So clean energy means it's energy that isn't producing carbon pollution, CO2 pollution. And a lot of times when you talk about clean energy, you're talking about energy like renewable energy, which is like the sun and the wind. Sun is really cheap, right? You don't have to pay to access the sun yeah. or the wind. And so being able to take the technologies like those wind turbines or those solar panels and making them available for people, that's what we're trying to do with promoting clean energy. The same is true with nuclear power. It doesn't produce any carbon pollution. And so making sure that, that it, those technologies, which are really complicated, but that they're available for uh, utilities to be able to use and ultimately for smaller uses as well. Now it's time for some bonus questions. All right, bonus. They're a little bit hard. Uh -oh. But I, th I think you uh -oh, can do Oh, I it. better take a sip. Yeah, I'm I think you ready. can do it, though. What do you like to do when you're not working? This is such a hard question. <laughs> I, um, so I live with my, uh, my daughter, my son-in-law, and my new grandbaby. And so I love to spend time with them. They live upstairs, I live in the lower level. And um, I'm upstairs in their place all the time when I'm not working so that I can see my grandbaby. What's his name? His name is Dylan. Yeah, he's just over a year old, he's adorable. What's the coolest person you've met during your job? I mean, who's the coolest person you've met during your job? Oh my gosh, in addition to the president and stuff like that, you mean? Um, well, I would say, I mean, we've talked about Robert Downey Jr. That is way cool. Uh, you know, in addition to meeting someone like you, um, I, I, I've been able to meet a lot of like um, people who are really like Mark Ruffalo, who's another, of course, uh, you know, uh, Avenger. We want to make sure that uh, they all get their place. But I really love the fact that I am able to meet also heads of countries. Like, so I just had dinner with the Prime Minister of, of Australia, for example, and or meeting with like people who are my job in other countries is very cool. As we all try to solve this big problem of climate change. Do you have any advice for me? 
Oh my gosh. My advice for you is just to keep doing what you are doing. You are clearly so talented at this and you uh, have got parents who support you, but they saw this, um, this incredible bud of talent and you are now an amazing, amazing interviewer and amazing soul. So I hope that you continue to do this and ask these questions uh, of people and so that others who don't have the same uh, abilities that you do are able to learn from the people that you're talking to like you are able to share with them. You have a great gift. Uh, keep on going. Thank you. I got, What's this? I have a present for you. Wait a second. Is this um, blue, uh, blue and gold for a reason? Is this, is this a, uh, does it mean a school or something like that? No, it's just, no. just blue and gold. Because I used to be the governor of Michigan, and uh, this is the colors of University of Michigan. And um, I used to teach at the university. I didn't know that. Yeah, so it See, looks it's good. It's perfect. It's perfect. And then you I can... taught at University of California, Berkeley, and this is the same color of University of California. So I thought, how did she know? It's also the color of the flag of Ukraine. And we are really um, working with Ukraine right now to be you independent. Can, yeah, so you, you are awesome it. on all of that. And look what I have an Idaho study ah! buddy. Ah! This is <laughs> so awesome. Look at that. All right, this is a keeper if I don't eat him first. You can't eat him, he's a stuffed animal. <laughs> that is so cute. Thank you so much for this. this is, I wish I had something to give to you, but this has been a privilege. This conversation has been a gift. Thank you. Oh wait, there's one more thing? There's a couple more things. Oh my gosh, so what is seven happening? Questions, <gasps> pen. Girl, you are branded. This is amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. And then a seven questions light box. So when I do interviews on Zoom, yeah. they, I have a light box in the back that lights up. Oh, yes. It says I names. saw that. I saw that in one of your interviews. That is so, so cool. So it lights up. You just have to push it down hard and then push it again. And it oh, my gosh. It's not showing off. Here, let me show. I think, yeah, you have to. What a keeper. <laughs> And a keychain. And there's a thank you card in there, too. Oh, my gosh. You guys, that is so nice. Thank you so much for, for all of this and for your graciousness. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new seven questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics. Why are you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy?